it's time to get healthy and find out why we need exercise. There I was again on my way home for tea, and that same funny feeling flowed all over me. Now I'd like to know what it's like inside a man. If I find someone special, then I really can. At the press of a button, I can shrink to any size. All I need is someone who is interesting and wise. What about him? Watch that move that he makes. I must get inside that man no matter what it takes. It's a long way down to him lying on the ground. He won't believe his luck when he knows what he has found. If you'd like to know what he's like inside, stick around a while and I'll take you for a ride. Take a look at this. Trust me to choose someone fit and healthy to visit. Oh, blood, I miss you. Oh, how is that girl supposed to have some kip around here? What's the matter, Ellen? Can't keep up with me. I do this most mornings. Oh, is that all? Well, there's rugby training later. Rugby training? Oh, exercise is very important. Can you think why? When we were inside blood, we found out that exercise is good for the heart. It keeps the heart muscle healthy so that it will keep beating strongly all through your life. But there are many muscles inside the body, not just the heart. I don't think Bob has a heart. <laughs> oh, here we go again. Take a look at these muscles. just athletes and weightlifters that need good muscles. All of our bodies work better if we look after the muscles. If we exercise them all, little and often, then we'll be able to enjoy doing all sorts of things, not just when we are young, but even when we're old. Wow, look at that. If you can't beat them, join them. There are 600 muscles in your body, you know, 600. I'm standing on one of them. Which one do you think is the biggest one? Yes, it's this one, your gluteus maximus. Which one? Your gluteus maximus, Bob. Why don't you sit on it and have a rest? <coughs> when you exercise, there are two very important things to remember. First of all, you need to warm up your muscles slowly. That way, you make sure that you don't pull any muscles. Who better to show you the best way to warm up than former Olympic gymnast Suzanne Dando? It's important to warm up each muscle in turn. I'm on my way down to explore Bob's body again. In fact, I'm going where no one has gone before. And that brings me to the very next important thing you need to remember when you exercise your body. 
Whatever you choose to do, run, cycle, climb, swim, you should always make sure that you are safe. You need the right safety gear and you need to be in a safe place. Can you think of some examples? What's wrong here? And here? Wearing the right gear is important. But take a look at this. Oh, that looks painful. That's why uh, you always need safety gear. I have come to explore Bob's skeleton. <laughs> but why do we have a skeleton? Oh, why do we have bones? What are bones for? Uh, most adults have 206 bones and the largest of them all is the femur, the thigh bone. Bones are made of many things. There's a mesh of protein, and there are salts, calcium phosphate and calcium carbonate. The salts make bones hard, and of course, you can't bend them. Not usually, anyway. But look, bones are not solid. They are hollow cylinders. In here is the bone marrow, the factory where red blood cells are made. Can you remember why we have red blood cells? Well, I'm going to have to be very careful because I don't really want to damage one of Bob's beautiful bones. Too right. You be careful. What happens if you injure a bone or break one even? You'll have to visit the local hospital where help is at hand to put your bones back in shape. If they've been involved in an accident or accidents or whatever, they... They come into casualty here to us. Obviously, they get looked at immediately. Then they're taken down to the x-ray department where they'll have x-rays taken. Then they come back to the casualty and then the doctor then will have a look at the x-rays and he'll decide the appropriate treatment. When you look at the x-ray, the most obvious things you can see is the bone because it stands out so much. But to a doctor, you can see many other things as well. Fiona's mother brought her into casualty after she broke her leg and now she's ready for more treatment. Fiona came into us a good few weeks ago. She was knocked over by a car, unfortunately, and she broke two bones in her leg. The bones should be straight, but in Fiona's case, they were quite badly displaced. So the treatment was she needed anaesthetic for the, for the bone to be manipulated and pulled back together and the plaster was applied. Almost in a day or two, the bone starts healing itself immediately. You get new bone growing, and where the actual break is, the bone will grow back much thicker and stronger in that part. Bone is a living thing, so if a bone is broken, it usually mends itself, but it needs time and help to stay in place for a while. We usually put uh, three layers of plaster, plus we put a little slab underneath it, underneath, just to strengthen it. And Fiona will be back to have the plaster taken off before very long. Good. Maybe I'll give that a couple of minutes. Okay. That'll be solid for you, OK? You. Why else do we have bones? Any idea? What do you think would happen if we didn't have bones? A skeleton is like a frame. It supports the body. I'm using Bob's skeleton as a climbing frame. Hey, Bob. I'm doing something you'll never be able to do. Just watch where you're putting your feet in there, OK? We wouldn't want you to fall and break your arm now, would we? It's OK. I bought along a spare. Right. How are bones joined together? The place where two bones meet is called a joint. Some joints are fixed. Like in the skull. Others can move like this. But how does it all work? See if you can spot the way the joints move.
bones move? Well, they can't, not without muscles. As one muscle loosens, the other one tightens. Muscles are attached to bones by tendons. Watch me as I climb up here. My muscles are working really hard to get my bones up these bones. Uh, uh. Think about the way people move and how some animals manage. you something. The view is great from up here. Can you think of another reason why the skeleton is so important? Does the skeleton protect something? Can you imagine what would happen to Bob's insides if he didn't have a skeleton? Ah! Oh, hey, I've got butterflies in my tummy. I'm feeling a bit wobbly. Yes, all his bits and bobs have fallen out. There's nothing to keep them in. Pull yourself together, Blob. I mean, Bob. Ah, that's better. Can you think of other bones that protect important parts of the body? So bones are a frame for our body and give us shape. Bones protect the important soft organs inside the body. Bone marrow gives us new blood cells. Bones are pretty important, really. So why do you think I do these exercises every day, then? Exercise keeps bones strong, and when you get older, that's important. Bones are alive and are changing all the time. Just because Bob has grown up doesn't mean that his bones stay exactly the same all the time. Bone is constantly changing. You lose old bone and you make new bone. In a young child, the new bone replaces the old bone in two years. It happens more slowly as you get older. And when you get to your parents' age, bones start to wear out. But the good news is that during exercise, because you work your muscles hard, the bones that are stuck to those muscles get stronger. Can you think of something else that you could do to make sure that you keep your bones strong and healthy until you are old and that you can play sports without worrying that you might break a bone? Remember one of the things that bone is made of, calcium. If you eat plenty of food with calcium in when you are young, then you'll protect your bones from a disease called osteoporosis. Osteo? Osteo means bone. Porosis means porous, and what it really means is that bones become brittle and break really easily. Could I get that? Do you eat plenty of food with calcium in it? Of course I do. I know a really good place. We'd like some lunch, please. Have you any sausages? 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 Do you mind, madam? This is no ordinary boring old cafe, you know. This is the world famous Crazy Calcium Cafe. All the foods on this menu are carefully chosen for their calcium and vitamin D content to ensure healthy bones for all. Do we have sardines on toast then? Ah, I most certainly do, sir. I suppose you think only milk has calcium in it. Sardines, young man, are full of calcium. And what's more, I'll have you know that they add calcium to bread. White bread and brown bread. So, uh, is that what you'd like, sir? Well, what else do you recommend? What else do I recommend? What on earth is the matter with you? I recommend all foods on my menu as being full of calcium 
and well worth eating. Please, let me demonstrate. Cheese and ham toasty. Stir-fry pancake. Pasta with cheese toast. Codin prawn and yogurt sauce. Sardines on toast. Rice pudding. Fruit salad with apricots and yogurt. Bananas and custard. And milk jelly. So what do we want? Food! What sort of food makes healthy bones? Calcium and vitamin D. Very good. Eat up then. The best way to get vitamin D is to go out for a long walk in the sunshine. Try and make a note of the food that you eat that has calcium in it. And then you could see if you could choose something else to give you a little bit more. What do you reckon then, Bob? Oh, I'm pretty careful. But exercise is my strong point. I love it. <laughs> Exhausted. It's been a really good day, and I've got to hand it to Bob. He really knows how to have a good time. But boy, do I need a rest. Oh, Bob, can't you sit still for five minutes for a girl to have a rest? <laughs> can't stand the pace. OK, I'm on my way to bed, so you can relax and settle down for the night. Night, night. Oh, Ellen, just one thing. Yes, Bob? Well, last thing at night, I clean my teeth, you see. Fluoride toothpaste and a good brush for at least three minutes. OK with you? <laughs> See you next time. Oh. It's been a pleasant journey, right from the start. To wander through your various bits and get to every part. Your mouth's so clean, I made it my camp. It gets a little rough, it's often rather damp. Your kidneys were amazing, your stomach's a treat. Your bladder wasn't funny, but your liver was neat. Exercise makes your muscles so strong. Your bones are hard, I could find nothing wrong. I went to see your lungs, they're nice and pink. I visited your brain, I watched you think. Bob, it's been nice to visit you and see that all is hunky-dory and you're...